That's it. No more talking. No more wondering how things are going to go. No more guessing, oh, it's going to turn out this way. It's going to go that way. I expect this. I no, all that's done. Ain't no more talking. Well, we're going to do a little bit more talking in this video because we got some fire questions from subscribers. But after that, <laughs> ain't no more conversations to be had because the AFC Championship game between the Baltimore Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs is going to be here. And like today was the first day this week where it really started hitting me that like the game is tomorrow because the game <laughs> is tomorrow, man. And then, you know, tomorrow all of us going to be nervous wrecks uh it, no matter how you feel the game is gonna go well you know what i can't speak for everybody but for myself even though i am very confident in the baltimore ravens i'm still going to be nervous like crazy because they're one step closer and one step closer and with it being just four teams left two teams tomorrow they're gonna get their hearts broken they're gonna get their dreams crushed they're going to be done now for the kansas city chiefs if it happens to them, it'll be a little different because they done won all them Super Bowls already. They done been to all them Super Bowls. But, but even still, like, hey, you want another chance to get to another one. But Baltimore Ravens got to put a stop to that. It's imperative that the Baltimore Ravens put a stop to that. But it's tomorrow's such a big day, man, because there will only be two teams left in the NFL that have one more game left to play. That will be the Super Bowl. Like, tomorrow's the game to get to the Super Bowl. Everything that you work hard for in the offseason, it all comes down to this. And again, two teams, 53-man rosters, two coaching staff, two franchises, they will have gotten so close, but just come up short. And you got to wait all the way till next year to do something about it. That, that, that's where it's the most painful right there because you're right there. Who is it going to be? Well, we'll see. Team, keep it clean. Like I said, we got some fire questions from subscribers to get into. Before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, and turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything. Very, very special times, especially for us Baltimore Ravens fans. Very, very special times. Uh, so for you to continue to be a part of that over here with Team, keep it clean. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video, too, because it helps out a lot. Now, first question, well, it looks like it might be more so of a comment, came from Elijah. He said, what's up, Engraven? Want to let you know. I really appreciate all your hard work and dedication to bringing Team Keep It Clean great content just as much as you appreciate Team Keep It Clean. I appreciate that, Elijah. Thank you. He said, tomorrow is a big day. It's game day. Who knew that the last time we played the Chiefs and won, I said we will beat them the next two times. But little did I know that the next game would be in the AFC Championship at the bank. We've been on the Super Bowl train all year, brother, and I'm confident it won't derail now. Full steam ahead. I was watching an old video with Ray and Edward reminiscing on their playing days. Ray kept saying he's waiting for a duo to be as dynamic as they were. The flock, um, the flock chirped in the comment section and said something uh, I agree with that. Yes, while they were a dynamic duo, it became a trio. Cannot exclude T. Sizzle. Uh, all that being said, I think Ray spoke it into existence. Roquan Smith. Kyle Hamilton and Matt Beeks might be our new Ed Reed, uh, Ray, and Sizzle. Let's take care of these next two games first, and then the pressure cooker is on. Like EDC, you will not have a light offseason, my brother. So like PQ this season, oh, my goodness. He said like PQ this offseason, I'm out. Ah, mm. oh, man. But, hey, look, look, it, it, it will sting a lot less if PQ leaves as a Super Bowl champion. So, again, it's important that the Ravens, that they take, they take care of that. They really do. Now, as far as Roquan Smith, Kyle Hamilton, and Matt Beeks being the new Reed, Ray, and Sizzle, it's, it's a little different because, now, while Roquan Smith and, and Ray Lewis are very comparable, their styles, their personalities, how they play the game, Kyle Hamilton is a lot different, a lot different safety than Ed Reed is. Both of them amazing beasts. Uh, they are just great, phenomenal players. But the... They play the game a lot differently. Uh, and with Matt Beeks and uh, with, with Matt Abike and Terrell Suggs, same thing. Both great players. They just play the game differently. Two completely different positions as well. But uh, you were saying that that could be our big three. And, hey, the only way that it could be our big three is if Baltimore Ravens, they pay up that bread. Uh, and that could be some historic bread that Justin Matabike gets. But next question came from my guy D3. Speaking about historic, he said, are we witnessing history on another level? Happy Purple Friday. Engraving the team, keep it clean. Well, now it's Purple Saturday. Anyway, he said, I hope all is well with you and yours. I have an observation uh, or a question for you. Has there ever been a college football coach that has won two collegiate championships and an NFL championship in consecutive years? I've looked and even AI can't find the answer. Munkin could be the first. Oh, because he won two with Georgia, right? 
Uh, and with two head coach vacancies left, we need to definitely give him his flowers now. Oh, yeah. No, he he, he get his flowers for sure. The way that he's came in here and, and really um, – because there was some talk about Monkey. Like, oh, can he really get it done on the NFL level? Can he really have good balance? Can he really have a good flow of the offense and whatnot? Oh, he did it in college, but can that translate to the NFL? He's had some NFL experience before, and it was okay, but can that translate to – the Baltimore Ravens. And it did. For sure. I right, said, as always, thank you for your content and keep up the great work. You're the pulse of the flock. <laughs> no, I ain't the pulse of nothing. But um, y'all, y'all got it though. I, I appreciate y'all like crazy, man. Y'all, y'all do a lot of work that y'all don't even realize. Uh y'all support the way y'all support all the time, like crazy. Yeah, y'all, y'all are the real ones that's putting in the work. Um, and, and speaking of work, next question came from my guy uh Steve. He said, Ravens and Chiefs. What's up, Engraven? I hope all is well with you and your family. I saw a clip of Andy Reid in the locker room after the Bills win, and he said, we ain't doing no dancing. Do you think that's a shot at us? Because Harbaugh been dancing lately, or is that a reach? I also want to predict that the Ravens beat the Chiefs by more than three scores. Oof. Okay. I like it. Okay. Hey, well, it's documented now, Steve, so I hope you end up being right. But, yeah, I think it was a little shot at Harbaugh. I do. I do. Um, because, yeah, like you said, Harbaugh has been dancing. Ravens been dancing. Um, but it's like, okay. And, and uh, Kyle Vinoy, he came out on the Pat McAfee show the other day. And he was like, yeah, how about we were dancing in the locker room and stuff. But right after that, we danced for a little bit. But right after that, it's back to work. It's back to work. And that's how it should be. Like, hey, do your dances, have your fun. But know that the job ain't done. Next question came from my guy, Anthony. He said, Major Keys. What's up, you? Hope you and the family are great. We are here one game away. Well, actually, two. One game to get to the Super Bowl, but two games away from being champions of the world. But let's focus and lock in on the Chiefs and the Swifties. With that being said, what are your two key matchups in this game? As always, God bless and trust. Um, I would say Lamar versus their secondary. Um, well, and if we got to be more specific, I'm going to say Kyle Hamilton versus Travis Kelsey. Um, and Brandon Stevens versus Patrick Mahomes. Um, and really just Ravens secondary versus Patrick. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. Ravens, if the, the way that they contain, they're, they're edge guys. They're edge guys versus Patrick Mahomes because – he is a very annoying quarterback because he just when especially when he takes off because you can have everything covered but Patrick Mahomes like he ain't fast but he got a good amount of, he got a good enough speed too and he can get there he can get there and it's so frustrating as defenders too because it's like man you want to hit Patrick Mahomes but you don't want to get no penalty because you, you know them refs be they looking at you for calling the penalty so it's tough man but yeah I I would definitely say those will be the matchups because the Baltimore Ravens. They're going up against one of the greats. They really are. Going up against one of the current greats in the league in Patrick Mahomes. And speaking about one of the greats, next question came from uh, Elijah. He said, how are you doing, man? Hope you and your family are doing well, ha healthy, and happy. Appreciate that, Elijah. Uh, good to see you adding one more person to your team. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm happy for you. So if Lamar Jackson beats Patrick Mahomes in the AFC Championship game, what goalposts are they going to move now for Lamar? Oh, it all be something. But the one that I would be expecting from this game, as long as the Ravens take care of business, they will say, oh, this Chiefs team, this was the less, the most least talented Chiefs team uh, that ever made it this far. This was the least talented Chiefs team of the Patrick Mahomes era. This team, they, they overachieved. They shouldn't have even been in the AFC Championship. So I would expect something like that. Our next question came from Heart Heavy. He said, congrats on the channel reaching new levels. Appreciate that hard. He said, answer me this. The Ravens defense has not faced an elite quarterback of Mahomes or Josh Allen's status. I know Lamar will be able to match the pace of those two, but do you believe RD can shut them down entirely like they have done to everyone else all year? Entirely, I would say no. I would hope that, though. I mean, anything's possible. But entirely, like to really uh, uh, Patrick Mahomes, to keep him out of the end zone, that, that, that would be shutting him down entirely, in my opinion. And can this Ravens defense do that? Oh, they would have to play better than perfect. And then, you know, the refs, they would have to just stay out of it, please. Um, so it's possible. But I, I think it's highly unlikely because it's Patrick Mahomes. It's Patrick Mahomes. And, and he just he's nice like that. They got a nice coaching staff. They, they do a lot of things with different players and whatnot. They, they find ways to get it done. But I do think they can hold them. They can contain a, a Patrick Mahomes. They can contain whoever. And. I disagree that they – well, oh, you said on the level of like a Patrick Mahomes or Josh Allen because they face some good quarterbacks. 
Oh, uh, they faced a, a Matt Stafford. They faced a, a Joe Burrow. They faced a Deshaun Watson. Uh, they faced a um. Tua is weird, man. He's weird because when he's on, that boy could be on, but he turned him off. And <laughs> but you know, uh, Justin Herbert, uh, he he's cool. Um, I said Matt Stafford already, right? I think I did. But yeah, so they they don't face some guys. But yeah, I get what you're saying on the level of a uh, Mahomes and Allen. Yeah, that'd be a little bit different. So the next question came from my guy Chaz. He said, "Hey, Raven, this is this Chaz, your little buddy from Twitter. I told you a couple weeks ago about the birth of my son. While we talked about the Ravens, congratulations again on that, my friend. Cause that's that's big right there. Uh, you you might have birthed a Baltimore Raven. You never know. Anyway, he said, update my son is healthy and well. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, he said, sorry for the rant, but I have two questions. Where was the rant? I ain't, I ain't see no rant. There was no rant here. Uh, but anyway, he said, should the Ravens look for a free safety? And trade or let go of Marcus Williams. Oh, I, they wouldn't have to do that. I don't know how the money situation is with Marcus Williams. But if they were to do that, you got Geno Stone right there. He could take over. He would take over at free safety. And he would be playing at his position where he had the most success this year. So they would, if they got rid of Marcus Williams, which I, just, I don't expect them to. But if they did for some reason, Geno Stone would be your guy, in my opinion. He said, Marcus Williams' injuries have made me question the money the Ravens are paying him. Well, they paid him before the injuries, though. So, yeah. But anyway, he said, I want to see that sideline to sideline ball hawk, and we just haven't seen that const consistently. Uh, number two, what do you think about the Ravens going after DeAndre Swift on a one-year deal if we cannot retain Dobbins back on a cheaper deal from his unfortunate leg injuries? That couldn't hurt at all. Yeah, that could not hurt at all because uh, he's somebody that will fit what the Ravens like to do, what they like out of their running back, somebody who can run, uh, somebody who's quick, who's fast, and who, but who can catch out of the backfield too. That's probably the best part uh, about it. So we'll see what happens with him. Uh, next question came from my guy, TJ. He said, I love that Mahomes won. Watch Lamar and Roquan and our Ravens. Mamba mentality. Uh, Kobe Bryant of the NFL. Give Lamar his respect. Love him or hate him. He is better than... He is better than ever. The job not finished. Two more games. Let's go. Love the channels. Keep God first. Much love and prosperity. Shout out to TJ because he got more to say than that. He said the Ravens are David and the Chiefs are Goliath. So this big giant that a lot of people feared and scared of and the Ravens coming in as the underdogs. Kind, kind of sort of in some ways. Some ways they are. Some ways they're not. But Ravens coming in and they knock them down. Anyway, he said y'all know uh, – Every this is still from my guy TJ. He said, "Y'all know, under every major sports broadcast, they're saying in silence that Patrick Mahomes will find a way to beat us, and some are saying it out loud. We don't need to get the big head. We still the underdogs. We are David. Let's roll to the Super Bowl and keep dominating as David as the underdogs. They want us to be. Let's go Ravens. Let's go Lamar. Kobe of the NFL. Let's go Roe Lewis. Okay, I thought that was a little typo at first, but then I read it out loud. Oh no, that was real. And then he said, even Snoop Dogg agrees that we are the underdogs." Uh, he said, we are David and we'll kill Goliath Sunday uh, at 3 p.m. No matter what our record says, we ain't did nothing yet. We are the underdogs. We are David. Let's go Lamar and Roe Lewis. Uh, so, shout out to my guy, TJ, because he, he was adamant this week. He ain't messing around. Our next question came from Javo. He said, what's your thoughts on the future of Pepe and J Jalen Armand Davis? No clue. I, I think it's really just super up in the air uh, with, with both of them. Um, I have no, no, no clue at all. Um, we just don't know because we haven't seen them much. And when you haven't seen somebody that much, uh, anything could happen with them. Um, as far as their relationship with the team that they play for, uh, they were both l not late picks, but little late picks. Thing, well, fourth and fifth round, I think, something like that. But um, so nothing's guaranteed after this year. They've been with the team two years uh, to this point, so nothing's guaranteed after this year. Uh, as far as if they'll still be with the Ravens or not. We just got to wait it out and see. Uh, next question came from a patron. My team, Keep It Clean patron, my guy, uh, Martin. And shout out to the team, Keep It Clean patron. Shout out to the, all the team, Keep It Clean channel. I appreciate all of y'all. Because y'all putting a lot of extra work behind the scenes. And I appreciate y'all. So thank you. He said, um, my question today, well, he was looking for a Joe Flacco jersey. But he found it. Because he wanted to add it to his collection. But, um, and then he did tell me afterwards, like, oh, okay, I ended up finding a jersey, so you don't even have to ask that question. But the part that I wanted to make sure that I did put in here, because this needs to, it, it cannot go unsaid. He said, um, I appreciate it. Also, thank you guys for the love and support you showed uh, when my dog passed away. I appreciate you guys a lot. I love this channel. Thank you so much. Uh, and y'all are awesome. So, 
Uh, I just had to read that part because that was special because he his dog had passed away, unfortunately. Um, but the way that y'all came through to just show him love at that time, because y'all y'all know how it is. The dogs dogs are family. The dog the dogs are family. Um, and when if you lose your dog like that, that's some pain right there, man. Uh, so that's that's real right there. So I, I appreciate the, what y'all did uh, for my guy. Martin. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure, man. I, I included that. Now, um, next question came from Biz, who's also Team Keep It Clean Patreon. He said, "Engraving, what a year, right? But what if Lamar would have played on that one-year deal? Big yikes! They would have had to literally open up M and T for him. Yeah, imagine that. Imagine if Lamar played on a one-year deal on a franchise tag, and whew, that would have been something. But I'm glad everything got worked out because it just." It's less, um, just l less distraction, uh, more being able to focus on what he can focus on. He ain't got to worry about the talks, the contract talks on the side during the season, anything like that. He just be like, look, and, and not that he couldn't do that or anybody can't focus on both things, but if you are able to put all your focus on one and every, everything's taken care of, like you ain't got to worry about it in the back of your mind, in the front of your mind, in the middle of your mind, you're like, oh, that, that's already taken care of. I'm straight. I'm good. You ain't got to worry about that. that. Even if even if it's something that you won't have to worry about to the off season. No, you're straight. You're good. It's done. It's handled already. So the fact that it's handled already is a beautiful thing for Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. Team keep it clean. That's it. That's it. The next time I see y'all, it'll be for the live stream of the AFC Championship game between. <laughs> oh man, it's crazy, man. Between the Ravens and the Chiefs. This is it, my friends. Um, and I just keep thinking about how the season, like how the off season was, everything that we all talked about, uh, all the decisions that the Baltimore Ravens made, um, all the signings, the, the cuts, everything that they did to get to this point. The preseason, the, the regular season, the ups, the downs, uh, everything, 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 everything. The fact that they did so much, so much great, excuse me. They did so much great. I was about to say they did so much good, but they did so much great in order to even be in this position and even in order to even be in the position that they were in to get into the playoffs, to, to clinch a playoff spot, and then to end up getting the, the number one seed to even be able to get it early, a week early before the season was even done so you could rest all your starters. And then, of course, there was a whole, oh, 2019, 2019. They're resting their starters in week 18, and they got a bye week. Oh, they're going to be rusty. And, hey, maybe that first half they were a little bit rusty. But they, they just missed some stuff here and missed some stuff there. But that second half, Lamar, he told the team some not-so team keep it clean things. And as a matter of fact, I remember right before halftime, he left. It was like five seconds left before halftime. He was walking off already. He was like, oh, nah, I'm tired. No, no, no. Let's go now. Let's go get a head start. Um, but it worked because the second half they came out and they were hot. Um, but all the stuff about 2019, like it's done. Lamar got another playoff win. Ravens got another playoff win. And they put themselves in this position to get here. To where they are competing to go to the Super Bowl. They're in the game for the, where the winner is going to the Super Bowl. Baltimore Ravens, ain't no more talking. Get it done.